In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to plot the general form of linear equations in Python. The general form of a linear equation that we'll be going over today will be y equals to mx plus c. In this linear equation, m is equal to the slope and c is equal to the intercept. So for this video, we'll consider that c will equal to 0. So our actual equation will look like y equals to mx. The goal of this tutorial is to plot various linear equations that represent m equals to 1 and negative 1, m equals to 5 and negative 5, and m equals to 10 and negative 10. If you guys ended up enjoying this tutorial, don't mind to drop a like and subscribe. Also, don't mind to check out the other videos that I've made in this series. Now let's get on with the coding part. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that you're going to first need to install a library called matplotlib. If you don't already have it, watch my other video where I've shown the exact tutorial for how to install matplotlib. I will also link that video down in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's start off with the coding part. So I already have all the code right here, so I'm just going to explain what each line means. So first we're importing two libraries and the first one is matplotlib and that's the one that we need to install and the matplotlib will help us to plot our graph and our points and then we're importing numpy as np. So we're just doing that for this and I'll explain what that is later. So that's for our two libraries and here we have our coordinates for x and y. So basically just the x and y axis and on the x axis we have this arrange of numbers from negative 4 to positive 4 and we have on the same thing for the y-axis from negative 4 to positive 4. And I'll be showing what these lines do as well after I open this up later. And here we're just printing the values for x and y. And I'll show you what the values will be later on. So over here we're going to actually be plotting the coordinates onto the graph. So we're going to be plotting y equals to x. And we're just going to make the line color red and the line style solid so it'll look like a solid line. And that's basically just plotting the coordinates on the graph. And we're also going to be adding more of these later on. And over here, we're, we're going to be adding a title to our graph saying that plotting linear equations. So at the top of our graph, just to add a title, it's going to say plotting linear equations. So over here, we're going to be labeling x and y. So on the x axis and the y axis, we're just going to label them as these names. So x and y axis. And here, we're just going to be showing the grid. So we're going to be plotting the grid and showing the grid. So this is basically our code. It's really simple. And we're going to be testing it out multiple times to see if it works. So if we just run this, so we're first going to be only plotting y equals to x. So let's just see how this looks like. So after we plotted it, so this is how y equals to x. And we can also tell that this is a linear equation by looking at the slope. So if we look on the x-axis and the y-axis, if x equals to 1, then y also equals to 1. If x equals to 2, then y also equals to 2. And the slope here is 1. So that's basically just y equals to x. So now if we print out the values that we're getting, if we run this one more time, we're going to see the values that we're getting here. So we're going to see this. So here we have our values. Let me just zoom this in. So we have from negative 4 to positive 3 so it's exactly the same thing for the x and then we have negative 4 to, neg uh, to positive 3 and that's the same for the y and if we look at our graph here we can see that it goes from negative 4 to positive 3 and negative 4 to positive 3 so basically th those are just like the coordinates on the graph so now we're going to be adding another line and this is just going to be we're going to copy and paste the same line but we're just going to write x as negative x so basically this equation is y equals to negative x. So now if we, we can also remove this print from here now because you know what it does. So now if we run this, we're going to see that we have another line. So this line here is the equation y equals to negative x. And the slope for this line is negative 1. So these are just two simple linear equations. So now we're going to be adding a coefficient to our variable. So to do that, we're just going to copy and paste these two lines once again. And actually we can just copy one. And here what we're going to do is instead of just x, we're going to write 5 times x. So basically what this is saying is y equals to 5x. And basically 5 is our coefficient. So now we're going to be changing the color of the line just to see it better. So we're just going to change this to the green. And just so that we don't get confused, we're going to change that to blue as well. So now if we run this, we're going to see a new line popping onto our graph. And it's this green line. And here we can see that our graph also changed. And I'll explain why our graph changed. But first, let's see the slope of this line. 
So we can see that if x equals to 1, then y equals to 5. So our slope would be 5. So that is our slope for this line. And since the slope for this line is 5, our graph on the y-axis also changes by 5. So for some reason, matplotlib just works like that and it increases the graph by 5 if our line is bigger than 3. So now I'm just going to be adding a few more lines. So we're just going to copy and paste this a few times. So that should be enough. And now we're going to be writing negative 5. So y equals to negative 5x. So then next we're going to write y equals to 10x. And then y equals to negative 10x. So we're also going to change the color of these. So let's just change it to orange, uh, purple, and cyan. That should work. So now if we run this, we're going to see a few new lines. And we can see, let's start off with negative 5x, so with the color orange. So we can see that the slope here, it's kind of hard to see because the numbers are like that. But we can guess that since 10 is here and 20 is here, the middle will be 5. And for that line there, if x equals to negative 1, then y would equal to positive 5. So that's for this line here. Now let's move on to y equals to 10x. And for that one, it will be the color purple. So this one over here. And we can see that that one is also. So if x equals to 1, then y will equal to 10. If x equals to 2, then y will equal to 20. So we can see that the slope here is 10. And then for our last line that we imported was y equals to negative 10x. And this one will be the sine line. So for the sine line, we can also see that it decreases by 10 each time. We can see that it decreases by 10 as it goes down. So on, if x is equal to negative 1, then y will equal to 10. If x equals to negative 2, then y equal to 20, and so on. And we can see that our slope is negative 10 for this line. So that will basically be it for plotting linear equations in Python. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.